Hey guys, uh, this is Anthony again. Welcome back. Uh, so today what I want to talk about is just what final expense insurance is. Just again, it's going to be a brief overview of future videos where I go into it a little bit more. So final expense insurance, what it is, is it's actually a form of a whole life policy. The only difference is that the coverage amounts are going to be a little bit smaller. So typically with the final expense insurance, the coverage amounts are going to be from about $2,000 all the way up to $50,000. And it's typically done in about $1,000 increments. So you know you can do $5,000, $7,000, $25,000, all the way up to $50,000 depending on your age and health. So now these final expense policies will typically write between 50 and 85 years old. There are policies that do write uh, final expense at 40. I don't really recommend that. If you're 40 years old and you're pretty healthy, I would go ahead and get a term policy first. But like I said, the options are available 50 to 85. There is a couple carriers that do go up to about 89, but you gotta be in pretty good health to get that. So these final expense policies, most of them are non-medical. So there's no pokes with needles or visits by medical professionals. They come in about two different types. They're simplified issue and guaranteed issue. Simplified issue, you're basically going to, uh, when you fill out the application, you, know, you give your social security number, it's going to look into your medical records. It's just going to check you know, to see, one, have you applied for coverage before? Have you been denied coverage? They're going to check your prescriptions. Each carrier has different like parameters of what they write. So they're just going to you know, get an overall picture of your health, your age, things like that, and determine if they want to insure you. Now, there's guaranteed issue. Guaranteed issue is absolutely no underwriting. It's guaranteed approval. Uh, the only difference is with guaranteed issue, you usually have a waiting period. It could be two to three years before you actually get coverage. Or simplified issue, you get coverage day one. So on the guaranteed issue, let's say you have a two-year waiting period. What that usually means is you'll have a return of premium. So if you have, let's say you have a $10,000 death benefit, but they make you wait two years. So if you pass during those first two years, they'll give you back the premiums that you paid and sometimes they'll add a little bit on top too, maybe like 10%. So if you paid 100 bucks a month, let's say for a full year and then you pass, that's $1,200 plus the 10% would be another $120 added on top of that. So, but again, everything varies by carrier. And again, this is just a simple video about what final expense insurance is. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me and we can go over some of your options. Thanks.